So patient involvement in HTA, I think is such an important area for us to focus on because HTA is what determines what medicines are available in our public healthcare system. And without understanding how patients experience myeloma, what are the challenges with current ways that's treated and managed, how can they make a good decision around that? So one of the things that I always focus on is really thinking about how can we better input into health technology assessment? What kind of information can we be providing? And how can we convince others that they should consider that information just as importantly as they consider the clinical evidence and the economic evidence? So there's a new process that's coming in Europe. Uh, it's called the HTA regulation from the European Union. And that's going to change HTA a little bit in Europe, but actually not that much. So what will happen is parallel to the regulatory approval by the EMA, they'll develop a dossier looking at the clinical benefits of a new medicine. That will then go to national HTA bodies and they will carry on making their decisions just like they do today. So at the country level, it's still really, really important that the organizations get involved in HTA at the country level. At the European level, it's going to be really important that European organizations like MPE are at the table when important decisions are made about the clinical aspects of a potential new therapy. Health technology assessment affects us all every day. It affects your mom, it affects my mom, it affects our children, it affects what kinds of healthcare is available in our public system. And for, for patients, it affects them in two different ways, I would say. The direct effect is decisions by HTA determining what treatments are available for their particular condition, in this case, myeloma. But actually, HTA is there to protect the healthcare system for all the citizens within a particular country, particular healthcare system. So the other thing that HTA does is ensure that there's enough resources to treat other diseases people might have or that person might have, is to ensure that there's access to medicines more broadly. But sometimes that means that HTA has to say, in this particular case, until we have better evidence, we're not prepared to pay for this within the public healthcare system. And that can be a real challenge, especially with conditions like myeloma, uh, where you really need treatments today. That's the system we've got. And I would say that it's better than the system we used to have. What used to happen, if you go way back in time, is that it used to happen through lobbying. So those patient groups that could speak loudest would get what they want. But the ones that didn't have such a strong voice, the smaller patient organizations, they would get left behind. So at least with HTA, we have a transparent process that allows us to look and see how that decision was made. 